Hey everyone, it is Zach, and we are here with another TCG unboxing. Today we have the Pikachu V box and some blisters of Brilliant Stars. But that's not the only reason why you clicked on this video. Uh, I haven't made the thumbnail yet. I hope you clicked on this video. If you did, thank you. But we have some mystery boxes. I was actually able to find these at Walmart. So these have three booster packs, an online code, and the chase packs are seated at one in 10. So out of every 10 boxes, one of them might have a mystery pack, which as they advertise in their own way of clickbait, they do the base set on the cover. So I am going to unbox these one at a time. And I watched TCG Funhouse's video where he did actually buy 10 of them. And as I saw in his video, there are just the sleeves. There are blisters just like these Brilliant Star ones folded up in here. So I figured those are going to add some weight. So when I was feeling there was about six boxes, seven if you count the one that was open. I did peek inside. There was just uh, folded up blister packs. But I actually tried to feel for the lighter ones. So hopefully that is a winning strategy. But if you guys enjoy this content, do not forget to like and subscribe. We're going to open these one at a time. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And let's get this started. Okay, a little bit of a weak clap. But I will have to warn you, I may have to deal with a sleeping baby uh, in the middle of this video that wakes up. So if I do, I will set everything down on camera and pause it but we are going to go ahead and start. We're here looking at our Pikachu V oversized card. It's got lightning blast and, you know, Pikachu V. We've seen enough of these. We have the regular size Pikachu V card, which looks great. I do like the color of it. I do like the, the background. That's what I mean. Next up, we have our Mimikyu, which this is from Darkness Ablaze, so I don't know why they uh, threw the Mimikyu in, but, you know, Mimikyu's always looking for some love. And, of course, if you are wanting that Pikachu V, there you go. Only take one promo if you do. Uh, take one code card if you do, but... We are going to go ahead and open up our first mystery box. So we're going to do it here and then we'll flip the camera around. So I am going to try to cut off the plastic wrap because these are sealed pretty tight. Uh, the one box I saw, they just kind of ripped open the top. Okay, and I'm going to open it from the top here. And let's see what we get. Come on. Oh, and the whole thing falls apart. Okay, that way I can use that for my clickbait. And... Okay, we have a Shining Fates. We can get some good stuff out of that. We have our Vivid Voltage and Darkness Ablaze. I mean, Vivid Voltage and Darkness Ablaze is not bad. And here is a code card for deck. It's definitely from X and Y. So, probably nothing legal in it, but there you go. But we're going to go ahead and get these sleeves open and we will open up our packs unless we get something, a real banger. I wonder if the Shining Fates is considered a seated one. Hmm. Okay, so we got our packs here. We got our other two mystery boxes here. We have our hit pile here. I do need to remember that I need to open up the videos a little bit to the left so my camera doesn't cut off any of the cards. So let's see. Oh, 
code card is shown like that. Go ahead and do our one, two, three, four from the back. And we got a steel type energy, Diggersby, Grapple Lock. Shout out to Moxie Boost It with his Grapple Lock video. Pingoro, Geodude, Snubble, Arrokuda. Finally, getting the names down. <laughs> Gumi, Panseer. Kufin Reverse, you know how much I love Kufin and Kafaraja, and an Araquanid Regular Rare. Didn't open up a lot of Fusion Strikes, basically stopped after the two ETBs I bought because I saw how big the set was, and I was just like, not even going to try. So, really anything we get from here will probably be a win. There is the code. We'll do our one, two, three, four from the back. Let's see what we get. We have our water type energy, Graveler, VIP Battle Pass, Battle Pass VIP, you know, get some cool Fortnite skins, Sydney, Arrokuda, Gumi, Panseer, Krogunk, and I'm seeing some shine at the top, Mankey, Snubble and Elsa Sparkle, and that card is sparkling. Man, that is a beautiful card. That's probably my best hit from Fusion Strike so far. I do know that most collectors and most TCG players uh, prefer the full art and not the rainbow because, with you know, the waifu bait, you want to get the full color. All right, so we will do our two brilliant stars from our Pikachu V box, and then we will open another mystery box. So let's go ahead and jump into our brilliant stars. Haven't opened up a lot of brilliant stars. I've actually opened up probably two ETBs and a couple packs here and there, but I have done really well. I got the full art Charizard V, I got the rainbow rare Charizard V star. So we have our grass type energy, Starmie, Weavile, Dusclops, Buzel, Halucha, Throw, Magmar, Staryu, Starly, and a Lipard regular rare. So one hit so far out of the Pikachu V box, which is honestly kind of all you're guaranteed uh, when you get those $20 boxes. But we have our last pack from the Pikachu V box. Go ahead and there's your code card. We'll do our one, two, three, four from the back. We got the little V star. That is for your game. Uh, if you're playing the TCG, you can use the V star card as your V star counter. If you've bought any of the Leafeon or Glaceon boxes, they come with a little plastic V star counter. And so does the ETB, I believe. Friends and Galar, Probopass, Shinx, Farfetch. Execute, that's a cute card. I like that. Grimer, Clefairy, Cynthia's Ambition, and a Shaman V. Okay, I haven't really pulled any Shamans yet. Nice. All right. Okay, so two hits out of the Pikachu box, so I think it served me pretty well. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But we are going to open up the mystery that is mystery box number two. So let's go ahead and grab my handy dandy scissors. Sorry for all 
the plastic noise. But I don't want to cut any part of these videos in case I get something real crazy. And these are supposed to open up from the side. So it looks like we have three blisters. So no big hit here. But we got two code cards for two decks from the X and Y. <laughs> I'm guessing one is a Greninja and one is a I Chestnut. I can't remember Chespin's Evolved Form's name. But here are the code cards for that. They're probably not good at this point. And what did we get? We got a Darkness Ablaze. We got a Vivid Voltage and a Chilling Rain. So, dud on that box. We will add them to the pile. How about that? And I mean, we can pull something really good. So we are going to open up, let's see. We'll open up the first boxes, the first mystery boxes packs, and then we will open up the last mystery box. But we're gonna go ahead and go to the Brilliant Stars. I really didn't plan this out. I just knew I didn't wanna open them all at one time. You know, keep you watching. We have our Fighting Type Energy, Dusclops. Starmie, Cynthia's Ambition, Snow Runt, Clink, Dedenne, Cub Chew, Duskull, Heatran, and Golurk. No character rare so far. I mean, granted, I've only opened four Brilliant Stars in this video. You would expect one of them to be a character rare. And let's, there you go. There is your code. Do one, two, three, four from the back. And we have a water type energy. Chinchino, Cleansing Gloves, Dusclops, Melsery, Shinx, Impidimp, Golette, Cast Form, Acerola's Premonition, and another Lipard. So I'm going to have to pause the video, and I will be back after I get the baby back to sleep. Okay, sorry about that. He might be up in five minutes, but let's move on. At least he had the respect to cry at the end of a pack. But let's go ahead with the Shining Fates. I really stopped buying the Shining Fates uh, because, honestly, I had the Charizard. So there's not much more there are cool shinies here and there there is your shining fates code we'll go ahead and do our one two three four from the back and let's see if the shining fates has our luck fighting type energy thwacky float soul tropius nicket fusel shinx Coughing, Trap Inch, Dreadnought Reverse, and a Omega. You know, see, yeah, that's that's honestly why I don't buy Shiny Fates anymore. Okay, so we have the Vivid Voltage, and then we will do the Darkness Ablaze, and then we will open up our last mystery box. What, what did you think about my strategy of, you know, only picking up the boxes I felt were, were lighter? Uh, do you think that played into my favor? Or do you think that the Shining Fates pack was just all luck? We have our Dark Type Energy, Galvantula, Aromatic Energy, Crocorock, Colobopus, Woobat, Tallow, 
Charmander, Wooper, Sableye Reverse. I don't like the dark type reverses, like they're barely noticeable. And a Steelix V, and <laughs> that's that's my third Steelix V out of Vivid Voltage. I want to say that in Vivid Voltage, Steelix V. No. Yeah, no, in Vivid Voltage is more Aegislash and Toga Kiss. No chunk of shoes, no chunk of shoes. But on to Darkness Ablaze. The only thing I want out of a Darkness Ablaze pack is that gold Rillaboom card. Because I think this was like the first set that they started doing uh, gold cards as shinies. I could be wrong, but I think they did Rillaboom and Opsagoon. So we could have something here. We have our grass type energy. Simiseer, Lunatone, Cerveria, Spinarak, Bond Sweet, Dunsparce, Electrike, Glaring Mr. Mime, Gothica, and As Escavalier. I love that background though. That's some cool art. But a regular rare. Okay, so we have three packs left. Technically, we have six. But let's go ahead and get our last mystery box open. If you haven't already, do not forget to like and subscribe. I do VGC content. I unbox some TCG here and there. This is the first mystery box I've done in a while. I also did a pretty cool computer uh, controlled controller mod for Pokemon Sword and Shield and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to show you. We're going to find out together. And we got another Shining Fates. Is Shining Fates the rare? Like... I don't know. But we have another chance with our Shining Fates. We have another Darkness Blaze and Vivid Voltage. And here's another deck. I don't know what you're going to do with that. It's probably not legal. But let's get these blisters open so we can add them to the pile. So out of... They're 20 bucks a pop. So out of all of them, I have only pulled a Steelix V. Uh, definitely not worth the money. I don't know how much a pack of Shining Fates is going for right now, but I guarantee you it's not 20 bucks. But I feel like I did pretty well uh, if I'm searching for the non-blister packs. Two out of three with something that is... 1 in 10 odds. I feel like I did pretty good on that. But here is our last set of packs. The mysteries are gone. Now we just have the packs. There is your Chilling Rain. Do our 1, 2, 3, 4. Swing it around. We got a Fire Type Energy, Ladian, Old Cemetery, Impact Energy, Glaring Mask. Coughing, Shepet, Squalbet, Spiel, you know the Spiel, Hatterim, Reverse, and an Ampharos. I don't like Chilling Rains. Hey, at least I didn't get another Ice Rider. We do have another Vivid Voltage, so we do have this and one more chance at a Chunk of Chew. So, I mean, if, if there's a Chunk of Chew in here, Value wise, I did make my money back. Odds are though, probably not. We have a grass type energy, Trumbeak, Sableye, Dewat, Execute, Woobat, Beldum, Blitzel, Milsery, Swoobat Reverse, and a Shift Tree, a regular rare. These packs have not been good. Darkness Ablaze. I 
I'm pretty sure the Charizard V Max doesn't have like any value compared to what it used to have, but I wouldn't mind it. Swing it around. Electric, Rose, Simipor, Lunatone, Dino, Passimian, Bunnelby, Vanillite, Gotharita, or Gothica, not Gotharita, Toxapex, and Mr. Rhyme. Oof. Okay, so these last three packs, they have to be hitters. Or else, uh, we really got gypped here. Which, I mean, that's what these mystery boxes are. At the end of the day, it's a gamble. But you're, you're gambling with packs, and you're also gambling to get something worth value. So... Grass type energy, Ursa Ring, I love Ursa Ring. Rose Tower, Simiseer, Kufint, Sinisty, Feebas, Passimian, Fletchling, Nicket Reverse, and a Sense of Scorch V Full Art. This is a double. I do already have this, but it's nice to actually grab something out of these packs from the mystery boxes. We are on to the Vivid Voltage, the last one, our last chance for the Chunk of Chew. I say it every time. It will probably be an Age of Slash. There's your pack. We'll do one, two, three, four, swing it around. Don't be an Age of Slash. Don't be a Toja Kiss. Don't be a Steelix. Drafferidge, Moo Moo Cheese, Dewat, Pineco, Mudbray, Poochiana, Charmander, Chadot, Stone Energy Reverse, and a Nessa Full Art. Okay. I definitely don't think I have that one. And that is, like I said, uh, when people look at the Full Arts versus the Rainbow Rares with, with the Girl Trainers, a lot of collectors prefer the colored, the full arts over the rainbows because of the fact that you get more of the detail of the character and people appreciate that. And you know, people forget that these are characters from a children's game. Okay, last pack, Shining Fates, three mystery boxes, two Shining Fate packs, can we get something out of it? There is your code card. At least you're getting something out of it. We'll do our one, two, three, from four from the back. Water type energy. Ball guy. Cramorant. Rusted sword. More Pico. Spinarak, Snom, Grookey, Eevee, Sandaconda, Shiny, okay, okay, we got a Shiny, I don't know if I have this one yet, I don't know if I have this one yet, and Manaphy, alright, so, how do you think I did? I don't think I did that great. But let's readjust the recap. And let's check it out. All right. So this is our recap. We ended up opening one Pikachu V box, uh, the newer Pikachu V box with. Brilliant Stars and Fusion Strikes, not the Shining Fates Pikachu V box. We opened up two blisters of Brilliant Stars and three mystery boxes. I spent about a hundred bucks on this video. And let's see our return. I have a Mimikyu Hollow, the Pikachu V, my third Steelix V. A Shaman V, 
Senta Scorch V Full Art, Sandaconda Hollow, Elsa Sparkle, and Nessa Full Art. I want to say that these two are probably the big pulls from this video, but what do you think? How bad did I get ripped off? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys enjoy this, do not forget to like and subscribe. If you made it this far in the video, I want to say thanks for watching. And if you're interested in more TCG openings, some VGC content, lots of VGC content, check out the channel. But until next time, I'm Zach, and we'll see everyone later.